What's up YouTube, this is FJ, and a number of you have asked for an on-feet video of the shoes of the Balmain Unicorn replicas, so here it is. Since the review video that I made about a month ago, I've actually been able to go into Yorkdale, and I went into Holt Renfrew, and I got to check out a real pair of the Balmain Unicorns, and I did notice additional differences in store on top of obviously the better branding and correct spelling on all of the branding on the shoe, I noticed that the rope at the back with the Balmain branding is actually connected to the heel of the shoe differently than the replica. It's more of a stitch directly on the heel. That was one of the differences I noticed right away. Another big difference that I noticed was in the outsole. Inside the big cutout in the heel, there's like a bulge of the outsole that comes down. On the real pair, it actually doesn't make contact with the bottom of the outsole, but in the replicas, it does. It sits right onto the plastic almost as if it's one piece. But again, the real pair, there's no contact there. There's actually a space that you can see in that cutout for the outsole. I also noticed that even though the real pair was also noticeably heavy, it is a bit lighter and the outsole foam is a bit softer. So there's a little bit more give in the outsole than the replicas. The replicas are pretty hard. You'll notice in this on-feet video that even as I'm trying to flex the outsole with the heel and the forefoot, there's not a lot of give. I have to put quite a bit of force to test the flex of the outsole on the replicas. But again, on the real pair, I think it's more of an actual outsole cushion, midsole cushion, where there's a little bit more technology into it that gives you a bit more comfort, a softer, bouncier feel. Not by much, but I will say it's enough to be noticeable. The colors of the real shoe are also more of an off-white ivory rather than the more like a blue-white on these replicas. You'd probably only notice it the most when you're holding both shoes together right next to each other. But in real world applications, if you're like walking around, you probably won't really notice that color difference. The materials on the actual fabrics used on the upper of the shoe are softer. They feel a lot more plush, more stretchy as well. They don't have the toe box deformities that I mentioned in my first review video. It hugs the top of your foot a lot cleaner and a lot nicer without that clunky cardboard feel like a deformed shell on the upper of the replica. You don't feel that in the real pair. I got to wear them outdoors finally. That did collect some dust and dirt into the outsole before I did this on feet video. So it's not quite as smooth and slick as the original video that I made. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please click like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. Let me know what you think of this on feet video footage. If you want more of these, if you want to see it on different surfaces, let me know. Thanks guys. Take care.